Hey, what's up guys? Worldwide here today and what I'm doing is a one month update on the 180 Gladiator 3 dartboard. Now I've had a lot of dartboards in my life, but man, I've never had anything as nice as this. I'm just amazed, um, you know, going on a month now. Uh, what I'm going to do is take this board off the wall so we can get a closer look at it. But holy shit, I've been pounding the crap out of this thing and man, not one single bounce out. That's one thing I'll mention right off the bat. I have not had a single bounce out yet. So just an amazing board and I'm going to take it off the wall, like I said, so we can get a close up look at it. And it should be noted before I begin that I've been using 21 gram darts with a 26 millimeter target storm point on there, the smooth version. And it definitely makes a difference. I mean, if you're using the aggressive knurled point darts that you see a lot of the players use, like uh, Robert Thornton, James Wade, even Robbie Green had some pretty aggressive points on yesterday, I noticed. Well, those points are going to absolutely tear your board apart within a matter of days. But, you know, these guys are professionals and their livelihood depends on darts sticking in the board. So I don't blame them at all. But as far as my personal, personal preference at home, that's the points that I use, and these are very, very gentle on the dartboard. So just wanted to uh, make that clear that those are the darts and the points that, are, that I have been using on this board. Okay, guys, I apologize for things being upside down, but this is the easiest way I've found to do this. But anyway, this was the original 20 segment, and I had this probably in the original spot for about four days before I decided to rotate it. But anyway, check that out. I mean, there is not one piece of sizal out of place. And the big thing is the spider here. Now check this out. I don't know if I can zoom in on this and it'll focus. Let's see if I can try. But anyway, like I said, I had this about four days, right? And this wire, if I run my fingernail across this wire, absolutely smooth. I've never seen a board where they uh, produced and made a spider out of some metal that is this durable. I mean, there's not even like a dent, nothing. My fingernail glides across there perfectly smooth. So that's just crazy. And if you noticed, I mean, look at that. It's perfect. I've never had a board that actually heals this well either. It's just amazing. All around, I'm totally blown away by this board. And if you look, I'm going to spin this thing. There's not one segment that is more worn than the other. And this is the result of rotating it properly. I play on it for like two or three days really heavily, and then I just rotate it one spot. But just totally blown away with this board. What I think 180 has done, this is a personal opinion, what I think they've done is they've taken the sizal that is every bit as good as a windma, and they've combined it with a spider that is second to none. This spider is amazing. Like I said, I've been playing on it now for 31 days, bashing the hell out of it probably every night for a couple hours, sometimes more. And look at it. It's worn perfectly. It heals perfectly. And the spider has barely a scratch on it. And let's actually take this off. Let's see if we can get a close-up. I've been throwing a lot at the bullseye. Now, oh, camera's hung up. Now, if it focuses, I mean, look at that. There's barely a scratch on any of these, uh, any of the uh, spider at all. A little dent there. But overall, I mean, this board is absolutely amazing. And trust me, I wouldn't be saying that just to say it. Let me get that back in there. But yeah, I can't recommend these boards enough. I don't know what that is. I just made that mark. But um, so totally impressed with this thing. By far, I mean, I've owned a lot of dartboards in my life. And by far, this thing is heads and shoulders above anything else. Way better than a Winma uh, Blade 4 or the Dual Core. And, of course, the Unicorn boards, we see those on TV. And we know what they look like after someone plays a best of 11. Keep in mind, guys, I've been playing on this thing for 31 days. And it's absolutely beautiful. But anyway, guys, um, there's the update. So far, like, you know, no bounce outs. The Spider is the best Spider I've ever seen in my life. Um, I am enjoying the increased segment size. I won't lie about that. I've actually set up the nine darter six times in the last probably couple weeks 
Whereas when I was playing on my Winma Blade 4, I set up the 9 darter probably two, maybe three times in the last eight months. So I don't know. I'm enjoying the benefits of the increased segment size. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the review. I let the board speak for itself, even though I've been rambling on. But wow, just an amazing board. And after a month of me throwing at, you know, I've been throwing at it one, two, sometimes three hours every day. And it looks like this. Definitely worth the money, guys. Anyway, we'll see you on the next one. Later.